This is Amazon Astro, and this thing represents the kind of future I want to live in. Astro's a little freaked out that he's on the a desk right now. He doesn't know this area. Over the next five to 10 years, we're gonna go through one of those life-altering changes. Kind of like the internet, or like smartphones. How the hell did we even meet up after school in the 90s without phones? I literally don't remember. At one point, we even had CB radios in our car so we could communicate. Call me Luke Duke. Anyways, with these things, the internet, cell phones, you sort of define time in your life as before this thing and after this thing. And this is gonna be another one of those things. Not this thing specifically. This Amazon robot is pretty useless on the grand scheme. I mean, it's cool, but it can't fold my laundry, it can't take my dog for a walk. But version seven, what are they gonna call it? Amazon Elroy? I'll bet that one can. I think little Astro here represents the very beginning of the home robot assistant era. I'm trying to figure out where I am. The very beginning, he doesn't know where he is. Astro, stay right here. <laughs> Astro is a personal house bot that can and does sort of just wander around your house, waiting for someone to ask it to do something. Largely, it's just an Alexa on wheels. It's even got the same voice. It can do everything your Echo can do, but those wheels are pretty advanced. He's got a bunch of microphones and sensors. He's got a LiDAR. There's a camera that pops out of the top of his head, and you can even dial into your house bot when you're not at home to check on things or talk to people. Hello, people. There are no people in front of me. And if you want to look at something like, I think I left my hat on the top of the counter, you can raise up this camera. Oh, that's good. I need a wider view. Oh, I probably have a wider view. You can change the height of the camera to see whatever you need to see. When you turn this thing on for the first time, you have to go through a bunch of little tasks so it can recognize your face, it can recognize your voice, and then it just kind of meanders around your house for an hour or so so it can map the place out with his LiDAR and cameras. If you don't know what LiDAR is, it stands for Light Detection and Ranging. It's basically a laser beam that sweeps back and forth and it can make a perfect 3D model of the space that it's in. So, little Astro here has a complete 3D map of my house. And he's updating it all the time. He's probably very confused right now because he's never been on top of my desk. If I move furniture or toss my boots on the floor or whatever, he's pretty much always roaming around remapping so he can get around without any trouble. As far as his real world usefulness, I mean, he does a few marginally useful things. You can at any point say, Astro, take a picture and he'll sort of echo locate your voice turn towards you raise up this telescopic camera and give you a little countdown okay get ready Then those pictures save to Amazon's picture cloud or whatever they call it. And anywhere you have an Amazon box with a screen, like on our kitchen counter here, it will cycle through those snapshots from time to time when you're in the room. It's kind of cool. Maybe not $1,500 cool, but I mean, whatever, man. I never picked up smoking. Let me spend my money. He can also bring people stuff. He's got this little compartment on the back where you can put things. He didn't like that. <laughs> All right, you're back down. But you can just tell him to go to whatever room Can you bring this to Sarah's office? Hi, Astro. Thank you, Astro. Astro, will you go back to your charger? He pretty obviously can't climb stairs, so upstairs is off limits. And even my office, this place, which is built into the garage of my house, has this little step down that's big enough to get in here so he can't come in here either. So he's really just a bedroom, living room, and Sarah's office robot. The speakers in this thing are pretty good. It's got the echo subwoofer built in, and he's got this little like follow me around command. So you can have him just stay near you if you're whatever, cleaning up the house and you wanna have 80s music playing. He'll follow you around and play music if that's something you're into. Aside from the music thing and the picture thing, he can do some gimmicky things that are kind of fun, like Astro, act like a goat. 
fine parlor trick that you'll never really use other than the first time your boomer parents come over to play cards and you're showing them this thing, but I'm more excited about what Astro represents, not what he's capable of today. Inevitably, this thing will receive some sort of chat GPT type brain where you can just sit and have a conversation with it. And like, I don't know, pause the show you're watching and ask it where I saw this same lady where she was like a teenager and stuck in a maze. And human shaped robots are coming. Like. They're on the horizon. Human-shaped robots are living in labs around the world doing dishes right now. And that's not even a joke. Boston Dynamics has teased their latest one, which runs on a battery, and has electric joints instead of those huge hydraulic joints it had been using for all of those dancing videos. So give those guys just a few more years. And of course, we'll have to wait through the early adopter years when everything costs tens of thousands of dollars. But I remember when a 45 inch flat screen TV was like $8,000. And you can quite literally pick one of those up for the price of a steak dinner now. Astro, show me 45 inch flat screen TVs for sale. Here are the top Amazon deals on 45 inch flat screen TV. $299, $249. TVs are so cheap. We're gonna live in the age of home robots. We're gonna see the future that my parents were promised in the 1960s with the Jetsons. Yes, sir. The old girl's still eager, isn't she? <laughs> but of course, very. Hey. <laughs> this is Astro version one, but I'll bet Astro version 10 is standing on two legs. He'll do your laundry, he'll pick up your dishes, he'll retrieve your packages, open them up and discard the boxes, and he'll fold them up all nicely in the recycling bin, not just jam them in there like I do. And when these walking, talking robots arrive, we won't need to wait for smart everything else. Those robots will be the size of a small person, so they'll be able to do everything a small person can do. Those robots will be able to use a dumb vacuum. They'll be able to drive a dumb car. They'll be able to push a regular lawnmower and turn lights on and off just by using the switch. You won't have to go through this endless process of repairing all of your Wi-Fi lights because something changed. Alexa, make all the lights red. Although those are really cool. Alexa, make all the lights white again. We've seen such a focus on how all the new AIs can write better than people and do art as well as people, but instantly. But the thing is, I want my robots and AI to be able to do the dishes and fold my laundry so I have more time to write stuff and I have more time to make art. I don't want my robots to make art and write stuff so I have more time to do dishes and laundry. Amazon, let's get to work on those future bipedal generations a little astro here. I love that we're living in the age of personal robots and I can't wait to see how this progresses. In the meantime, this is Astro. He's wildly expensive, not all together all that useful and I am so glad I have one. Lunch, early dinner. Oh. Like at like three or something or like four. Okay, what's what's in here? Jesus? Okay. Hi everybody. We're gonna have skewers. <laughs>